faith in the king Israel united in Christ who we be Wherever our people be gathered, you know that we bringing this heat Scripture on scripture, we call that a precept We making it plain for our people to see See, see, what's all on your internet Not just your internet on your TV Radio stations compelling our nation To wake up and change and come out of sleep Sleep, sleep, sleep in America We are not scared of ya, we are prepared for ya Puppets so back with a vengeance He saw you gon' get it, you know what you did to us 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 Israel, Pajan, Saints! Israel, Saints! The 
that the prophet wasn't able to see. You're able to see a man's feet because they were ascended. He said, I saw his feet. They look like color of brass. Okay? Don't forget Daniel is next. Ten. Go ahead. And his feet like a divine brass. What color is brass, brothers and sisters? What color is brass? Our penny will be brass. Go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. He didn't stop saying that he was just like brass. He said, it looked like when you throw brass in a furnace, what it look like? Blacker than me. So Christ is a black man. But in all our lives, the white men want us to believe Christ look like him. You know, if we know that Christ look like us, we will never be the pimp or the drug dealers, the hustlers. Then we will never, there will never be no single parents in our neighborhood because we know that they have been conditioned us to think that Christ look like them. So we hate one another. But we see, I said, when I'm looking at this brother here, I'm supposed to see Christ in him. But since the white man conditioned me to hit my brother, when I see him, I say, the hell with that nigga right here, he no good. That's what the white man tell us. That's why he conditioned us to think about one another. Hatred, to have hatred. Then when you think of the need to know how, he to know I say, I give you welfare, I give you housing, I give you section eight, nigga, what the hell you complain about? That's why he gonna say to you here, he say, yeah, we've been helping you all, all your life. America has not even helping us. America not even giving us crumb. So you better wake the hell up and keep God's commandment so Christ can come and put judgment in the white man for the wickedness he has done. Read. Revelations chapter 1 verse 15 And his feet like a divine brass as if they burn in a furnace. You see that? Christ's feet like they burn in a furnace. Now you might question that. We mentioned feet. Now let's see the, the other prophets gonna mention his arm. What his arm look like. Let's go. The book, the book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse 6. His body also was like the bell, and his face as the appearance of lightning, uh -huh. and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. It's the same thing. We went to Revelation, we went to uh, the book of Daniel as two witnesses showing us Christ is a black man. But why are the white men giving us this picture? Why? You don't think it's nothing of it, right? If I ask you today, sister, you remember Tom, uh, Tom and Jerry? You will know how you knew that. Uh, kids, you watch these things. You, you will never, you can get all, you will remember these things, because these things condition in our spirit. So when he give us the picture, really what he telling us? Worship him as Christ. Guess what? Your God's been worshiped the white man as Christ all your life. You're not, you're just a know it. Right. Because what image you have in your head, Christ looks like them. Yeah, can I ask you a question? You're from the Billy Graham Hussein. Can I, can I ask you guys a question? Because I was, I was watching something. But this really shot my spirit. Uh, knowing Billy Graham in the 60s, it was a crusade. Uh, uh, he was about the American gospel preaching throughout the world. Yeah, but I have a question because you're from the descendant to them. You understand? Show me in the Bible where Christ look like this. Right. Billy Graham saying that it doesn't matter what Christ look like because I can, y'all know that. I'm not putting words in your mouth. They said he had long hair, went around with his disciples in a commune. You know, actually, we don't know what he looked like. We don't know whether he had a long beard or not. Those are just pictures that artists have painted. We think he did. We don't know whether he had long hair or not. He probably did because the people of that day, that was the style, but we don't know. We don't know whether he had long hair or not. He probably did because the people of that day, that was the style, but we don't know. We don't have a picture of Jesus, and God did that purposely. Christians keep dashing. Christ was a black man, but they hate me for my black skin. Thought you knew Christ, but you really in some madness. Your preacher teaching lies. He just hoping to cash in. Pastors making money off dummies. This is sadness. Billy Graham saying that it doesn't matter what Christ looks like. Because I can, y'all know that. I'm not putting words in your mouth. But if the Bible tell us what it looked like, why would he put it there? Right. If it doesn't matter what it look like. But when your guys give us this picture though, 
we always good with it. But now they say that this is a lie. Oh, you colorblind. Where in the scripture they say that? Show me in the scripture where they say colorblind. For all mankind, right? You would have think that. Remember, now I want you to explain that to me. Matthew 1 and 21. What? You look like a wise man. Since you said Christ come for all mankind, right? Let's say that what you say is true. Let's say what we say is lie. But men out here, they want to be improved by everything. There's a few words in Matthew 1 21. I want you to explain to me what that would be. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. The word that there is H-I-S. His people is not me or me. There's a people in this earth belong to God. It's three of a man on earth. It's the son of the devil, the son of man, and the sons of God. But for some reason, when we read this Bible, we confuse. When we read about Christ, he shall save his people from their sin. That is the word sin is. We have to know why Christ came to save his people from sin. Let's move that. First John 3. We're going to go step by step. You got it there? Oh, you got something for me? Galatians 3.28. Oh, Galatians 3.28. Yeah, we go ahead, read it. We're listening. Okay. Galatians 3.28. Let's go. Galatians 3.28. Let's go. Galatians 3.28. Galatians 3.28. Let's go. 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 Yeah, go ahead. But who he's talking about? Let's go to the first verse. Let's go to the first verse. Listen, if me and you is talking, right? So we keep in the conversation, right? So the conversation is me and you. So let's think. We're gonna read the shop to see who Paul talked. You understand that we're gonna know what he said, right or wrong? Okay, let's read it. Galatians 1 and 1. The book of Galatians, chapter 1, verse 1. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ, and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. Paul was an Israelite. Am I right? Can I say that? Read that part again. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. All the brethren that are with me in the church. So who are his brother? The Israelite. Am I right or wrong? Sir. Because we we won't go in the middle of anything trying to have understanding. No. We have to go in the beginning to that's find right, understanding. That's right. that's you understand? We have to know who are the Galatians. They are the, they are the his brother. You understand? So if Paul was an Israelite, so he's his talking. The Israelite. Because you have not understand. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Read, read back to Isaiah 28. I'm going to show you. Because a lot of time we open the Bible, the Bible comes with understanding. We have to open it with understanding. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, 9 and 10. Verse 9. Because God going to show us how to read the Bible. Go ahead. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Who God going to teach his knowledge? The Bible here. Go ahead. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Who God going to choose to make them understand his Bible here? Go ahead. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Okay, you have, that's why Christ said you must repent as a baby. Go ahead. For precept, must for that one. This is how you read the Bible. Go ahead. For precept, must be upon precept. Precept must be upon precept. Meaning that laws must be upon laws. Because I cannot open the Bible, stick in one scripture and give understanding. That's impossible. I have to go to different, different prophets to prove my points. Because you just quote Galatians, right? Uh, what you just read. When we read the first verse, the understanding telling us that he's talking to his own brother. You understand? I'm going to give you a recap of the whole Bible. Give me Roman 9. I'm going to show you a recap of the whole thing. What it's about. What the whole thing is about. Then you're going to understand what 
Woman 9. Let's start at 1. Let's start the first one. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 1. This, this is the whole conclusion of the whole Bible. Read. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. Paul say, I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. What I'm about to come out is the truth. Go ahead. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Okay. For I can wish that myself were cursed from Christ for my brethren. Uh, read that again, read that book. I wish myself can be a curse from Christ for my brethren. For my, Paul was an Israelite. Go ahead. For my brethren, my kinsmen, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. According to the flesh, they are Israel. Go ahead. Who are Israelites? No, his brothers are the Israelites. We have to understand that. His brothers are the Israelites. Read it again. Who are Israelites? Who are everybody? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? So the Israelites was given the Bible. Oh, oh now, oh, you got something outside the Bible? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Where, which one do you want? Oh, yeah, woman 10. Yeah, we can go to that. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Now, yes. Huh? Woman 10. Okay, 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 go ahead. Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, yes, brothers. Go ahead. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Uh -huh. No, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Yes, yes, yes. If you want to give people understanding, no, listen. Yes, listen. If you want to give some people understanding, but people are going to tell you read it. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Now let's go to the first verse. The book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 1. History of the Israelites. That's right. And have nothing to do with other nations. Because guess what? That's why when we when we read the Bible, the Bible comes with understanding. But listen, if it's a whosoever, listen, listen, the word whosoever telling you is not for everybody. Come and sister tell me that. She's an Israelite. If you know the Israelite, that's not for you. The Bible is only for the Israelites. Sir. You know it, I know it. You know it, I know it. If you're not an Israelite, you, you want to know what you're, what's going to happen to you? If you're not an Israelite, let me show you. Let me show you. No, we won't be praying for you because we're going to see. We're going to see you in slavery. That's right. We won't be praying for you. We Acts 2 and 21. And this shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Uh, Amen. something for us. No, brother. You don't have nothing for us. Because you are the seed of the devil. You're going to bring the things of the devil because you are the devil the Bible speaks of. Now I understand. So you're not going to bring no truth when there is no truth in you. How the hell, if a, if a plant is bitter, how the hell are you going to bring things on me? That makes no sense. If the plant is co-op, it's going to bring co-optable things. America is co-op, the white man is going to bring co-optable things. Plain and simple. We're going to get it. Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Men, whosoever, whosoever who? shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So who's going to be saved? We did it good for the brother. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men. Listen to it. Listen to the whole verse. We did it again for the book. And it shall come to pass. That's going to come to pass, right? That whosoever, whosoever, shall call on the name of the Lord, who's going to call on the name of the Lord, go ahead. Shall be saved. Shall be saved. Go ahead. Ye men of Israel. So he's talking about the Israelites. They're going to be saved. That's not whosoever talking about everybody else. Because the Bible is the history of the Israelites, which is the blacks and the Spanish what happened to us. Why are we in the condition we in? This is our healing. This is our medicine. But since we reject the laws, that's why we have our kids killing in every street. We have to turn back to the Father, man. Now that's dummy, but there's men who know what God sent out here. You know, so be very mindful. Be very mindful. Read it again. And it shall come to pass. 
that whosoever, let me ask this brother here a question. Whosoever, whosoever tell you, when you break the word in part, and showing you it's not everybody. Who? Who are you talking about? So ever, the word breaking the past is not talking about everybody. You understand what I'm saying to you? So, if you break who? It's talking about who? I say, who is this? Whosoever is still talking about a set of people. But we don't know that because they use words to watch our spirit. I'm going to show you something. Give me John, the favorite scripture that America like to use. St. John 3.16, I'm going to show you something. You're going to know that they flip the Bible upside down when they get to the black and Read the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, God so loved the world, right? Go ahead. That he gave his only begotten son. He gave his son, go ahead. That whosoever, whosoever, go ahead, believeth in him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay, there's two words in there that don't belong to everybody. Everlasting life was given to the Israelites. Now let's go to the word love. Let's go read it again from the B. I'm going to show you something. For God so loved the world. Hold on. God so loved the love there. Is that a past or future or present? Which one is that? The ED is a past. So he loves somebody in the past. So he sent his son to save the person he loved. He loved in the past. Who do we love? So you know who God loves. Because we have to be able to break it apart. You cannot read it and think you got understanding. That's why they got us. Because we're not meditating in these words. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Malachi chapter 1 verse 2. Verse 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. Listen to this I have loved you, saith the Lord. Listen, this is the burden by Malachi. He was an Israelite. God explained it to prophet Malachi. Listen to what words God used. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love Jacob. You see that? Jacob's are the 12 tribe of the house of Israel. But he said he hate who? And I hate Esau. Who are Esau today? So they write them from the descendants of Esau. No, but us, we don't know that because we've been conditioned not to know. You understand? To stand in the darkness, why there you see? Because we're looking for solution, right? We in America now, the Israelite, we're looking for solution, right, sisters? That's why we are here looking for solution. Walk, march, there is no solution in there. We've been doing it for years. Our people have to turn back to God and live. Keep that commandment or drop dead in the earth. Is simple. This is the gospel. This is the true message. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 1. Go ahead. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Saying thus, speaking to the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For, for lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my, of my people. You see that God says, Say the Lord, I will bring again the captivity of my people, because his people have been under captive. Like perfect and separate, brother. You are Israelite, right? I'm going to show you, you, you're still in slavery. What is your last name? My last name is That belong to who? That don't belong to our people. That belong to who? That slave master. So, surely we're still in captivity. But our people say that we're free. That's why when you think you're free, he can kill your son and your daughters in these streets. Because you would think that, yeah, they're just bad cops. No, America is bad. The whole system is bad. The whole thing is corrupt. The America must brought down. That's what the Bible said. For wickedness of America, it must come down. The kingdom that was before America was who? Rome. Did not Rome brought down for wickedness? The kingdom was before Rome was who? The mean and the Persian. The Persian become greater than the mean. The dead not that brought down? The kingdom before the mean and the Persian was who? The Greek, what is that? Babylon. Yeah, the Babylon. Babylon. Did not Babylon, the African, that brought down? Before Babylon was who? Was the Syrian? Did they not brought down? What make America so special? God did not bring it down. You kidding me? God is all power. God is behind all power. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 17. For the scripture says unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee. You remember Pharaoh? That, uh, he was a king of Egypt, right? God said he was a foul. 
Then he make vow, he make the Egyptian em uh, uh, empire great, where every man will look at the, the African at the time like they were gods, right? He said he make it like that, right? Then listen, I have raised thee up that I might show my power in thee. He said the reason he raised a vow, he can show the Israelite his power when he bring the kingdom down, right? And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. His name may be declared that he is the power, above all power. Go ahead. Therefore, have he mercy on whom he will have mercy, uh -huh. and whom he will, he hardeneth. Okay, go ahead. Thou will say unto me, why doth he yet find fault? America. As young America is, probably 200, 200 to some change, it's a great empire, right? Who made America like that? God did. You remember when they dropped the nuclear bomb in the uh, Japan? The whole world said, this is the nation. We gonna follow. Because America sure he was ruthless to do something like that. That means that no way a man can do it. The devil himself has to use his body to do that type of thing. But America did it, right? But when you say America that great, it's gonna become. There is no China who not been America down. There is no nation in the world gonna bring America down. Who do you think gonna bring America down? Christ himself. That's right. That's why we have to wake up before he come. Turn back to his laws. Because if we come in with that condition we are, in American condition, American state of mind, we're gonna be destroyed. That's why we as an Israelite, we have to repent. Learn God's law, statutes, and commitment all over again. I'm Elton Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.